got skeletons in my closet. Won't you share yours with me? All right, we're back here with Carlo Valerio. And um, you're a funny guy, is that right? And this is Steve from Ripped. Um, I don't know if anybody notices, but are you like a clone? Of? Steve from Ripped? Yes, we're all Steve from Ripped. Is everybody in Ripped named is, Steve? Yes, it makes it just so much easier for... For the band. <laughs> for everybody. So, what's the band's website? Just... Oh, you need the other Steve for that. Oh! <laughs> Facebook.com slash RippedMJ. ReverbNation.com slash RippedMJ. There you go, there you Ripped go. MJ. But we got Carlo here. And Carlo, you're a funny man? Uh, since 1987, yes. And, and when did you know, when was the moment in time that you knew that um, this was your calling? It came to me at a very early age. Um, growing up in Newark, New Jersey, like that, ah, I was just mentioning, yes. uh, I watched, used to watch Abbott and Costello on Sunday mornings on Channel 11. Were you an Abbott or a Costello? Oh, definitely the Costello. So uh, who's on first? Yeah, definitely the funny man. Um, I always liked the funny man as opposed to the straight man, but they were... Is that because your name's Valero? Valerio? Valerio, Costello... That's like... an Italian thing, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And it's fine, I, I gotta give you credit, Rue, because uh, I, I give you credit for sharing your the, your situation, you know, airing that. It's not, it's not easy for people to do it because I have an eating disorder, too. Join the party, yeah. I, I was the other way, though. I, I used to be 623 pounds. Oh, my God. This yeah. show is wild today. Yeah, I had the gastric Sweet. bypass. Yeah, and, but I know people that have had it, and it didn't work. Like, it works temporarily. So it worked for you. Yeah, I'm down over 400-something pounds. Wait, so did Richard Simmons come to your house or something? No, like, were you on television? Uh, Actually... Not Were you one that. of those people laying in bed and couldn't get up? You know what? No, I was very active for being in great Six, Six hundred yeah. and what? Uh, uh, Twenty-three pounds is my top weight. How did you weigh yourself? Wow! I used to go to the hospital. They used to have a freight scale. I swear to God. They used to have a what? A freight scale. A freight scale to weigh. Hospital. Now, like you weren't afraid to get weighed, you would go on the scale. No, I cancel right. doctor appointments because I don't want to go on the scale. I, I didn't. You know what? It wasn't easy being that way, but I wasn't ashamed of it. I would go to the beach. Good for you. I would take my shirt off. Hey, look. I know it may not be pleasant. If you don't like it, turn your. Now, when head. did you start over? Like, like when you were little. I'm Italian. Right. Growing up in a household, the lady across the street hits the lottery. Everybody, my mother's cooking. And for any excuse, they had to cook. I you know, know. Up until the time I was 10 years old, my mother, I told my name was Taste This. And the food is so good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and you can't. And for any excuse, and then who dies, who hits the lottery, whose birthday, yeah. who got their license, you know, who got a hip replacement, you know, so yeah. any excuse to hook, to eat. Yeah. So how did you do it, though? I mean, I, I, I what was, went off? I was active. It didn't get bad until after high school. Okay. I mean, I played football. I was a chubby kid. You know, it's the, where everybody says, oh, it's baby fat. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, not in my case. Right. But, you know. And then it just got worse. You start, after high school, I guess you get less active. Even though you're young yet, you start to do less things. And then and smoke more pot. No, actually, I never did. Oh, you didn't? Never you tried. Did. I have no so idea. You got the munchies without it. I, yeah, I just, I didn't need that. You didn't need the pot. Exactly. exactly. Um, and I just, I guess it just, when you have problems, I guess it was, you yeah. know, I didn't, never did drugs, so I guess I turned to it. Well, food, and, food is it, the best. Well, you know what, everybody feels that food is, it's an addiction, but they don't give it any credibility. Because as opposed to drugs or alcohol, which I'm not trying to. Right. But it is serious. It is very serious. But and I, I got through it, I, and my cousin, and I never believed in any of that stuff. All them surgeries, all them stupid pills, fang fang, didn't want to do any of that. My cousin went to see the same doctor that I had. Um, she and went in first, and this was when this gastric bypass surgery was just coming out. And she said, listen, just sit down with him and listen to him. And he made me feel comfortable. At the time, I had the health insurance. I said, do it. And I, I don't regret it. And it worked. You know, yes. Good and for you, because I know I know somebody, I know a lot of people that have had, you know. Oh, I've had my share of complications. Yeah. You have your good days and bad days. Yeah. You gotta, you got to retrain yourself to eat because you can't right. eat the same things. And I still look at food. How many years ago was this? Uh, 2007. Wow, good for you. Yeah. So it's been off for a long time. Yeah, and you know, you still have it in your head. I don't get hungry anymore. But you still have it in your head that, that you, you want to eat. eat. That you can eat the same way, but you th I take two bites and I'm full. Wow, and you don't need it. And I was a big gym guy, you know. Now I'm in the gym every day. I used to be able. I couldn't walk from here to the front of the to the bar 
but uh, nowadays I'm doing 10 miles on a treadmill. Wow. I don't know if it's out. So you, to me, yeah. You is. run? I run. Wow. I always wanted to run, and it's so addictive. So what do you make jokes about? Like, do you make jokes about your oh, my, life? Oh, my, my, uh, everybody always asks me, what is your comedy like? I'm a cross between Tony Soprano meet Sam Kinison. Oh, that's a good combination. Yeah, I talk about family life. I'm growing up in, in an Italian household, my mother, you know, just very observational stuff that every day, to find true stuff. Like, wait, the, Sam Kinison was with Jessica Horn, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he was one of my mentors coming up. Uh, I'm a big Don Riddle Both of fan. them, though, you know where they both are. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Bye exactly. bye. So they're angels. both your angels. angels. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You want to laugh? My little stepson Dante, um, and I have pictures of Sam all over my bedroom wall. I have like like rare stuff, collectible stuff. And he come up to me. He says, "There's a." He saw a man in my room wearing a trench coat and a hat. I swear, I cannot make. This oh no up. no no! I believe it's true. And How he, old is Dante? And like he's like four. four. Because four is when they see it. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, okay, God. You know I actually know this. I, I am so intrigued by that stuff, but it's so hard to swallow. Because I anytime know. you do, That's somebody comes true. along and, and, and debunks it scientifically. Yeah, but it's it, it's not, it, it can't be debunked because four-year-olds usually is when it happens. Right. Because I also had an experience with that with a four-year-old who I had a dream one night, and I totally did not remember this dream. During the dream, I was like, whatever I, I always doubt like when I hear things like that but in the morning she actually saw this person who she never met right I remembered the dream a hundred percent after that and there's no scientific way that she never met this person before and she saw him and he's up there I have a story that made me more of a believer I'm gonna share real quick I was in high school and my friend called me up and wanted me to come out. It was during the week. I didn't feel like it. I had too much homework for whatever. Uh, I was like, ah, I don't feel like going out. No, no, come on, come on, please, come out. And, and he kept begging me to come out, and I kept you know, saying, no, no. So all of a sudden, I hear a knock at the door. I go downstairs. I open the door. There's nobody there. I walk outside. I look around the house. Nobody there. I turn around. The second floor is engulfed in flames where I was oh, in my home. Oh, my God. I, that's a, I, and to this day, I'm thinking somebody was telling me to get out of that house. Whoa! Get out! Yeah, so that was one of my... Wow. <laughs> that sounds like Stephen Kelly's bedroom. Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, listen! Uh, can, you explain, can you explain yeah. that back no, up so. and add and say you carry around? I'm on a health kit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about your comedy. Climb the trees is an exercise. I just love comedy. That's my friend. I do a lot of acting. I've been in a lot of the major TV shows. Warren or SVU, The Blacklist, The Good Wife. Do you have an agent? Yeah, Roger Paul. He's right here in New York City. Roger Paul. Yeah. Um, but comedy is going to be always my first love. I just got the chance about a month ago to meet Don Rickles, which was... Oh my God. A lot of these nun guys don't realize that the, 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 just the, the level Rickles. he's at. He's the king, but he says anything. And it's like... It, I don't. I don't know if people can get away with that today. Like what he can still get away no, with. No, you know that you watch. Because now everything's so politically correct that yeah. like if you say something, you don't mean it. You know it's what? Just goofing. And that's what I hate. That's the the downside of because this business. Because everything is so serious right now. Even it's, in comedy. It's, that's what it's, I mean. It's, it's in the world. It's in like the, the world overall. It's hard to say everybody's got to excuse the expression. Everybody's got to stick up their ass. Yeah. You know, years ago when Not I started like ballerinas. Yeah, when I started comedy in the late '80s, everybody came out to the clubs. They had fun. They laughed. You gotta watch what, who you're gonna offend. You do. You know what? If Don Rickles doesn't care. No, you know Don't what? Say and he couldn't be nicer. I actually knelt at his feet, like it was like a, like a student looking at Socrates or Plato. Yeah. And he couldn't be nicer. And then I got another call. Actually, that was because of my agent. He hooked me up with that. Good and then you. Next month, November 14th, at the Sands Casino in. Pennsylvania, I'm getting to work with another one of my icons. I don't know if you guys remember the Blue Collar Comedy Tour? Yeah. Larry yeah. Cable, I'm going to yeah. be opening yeah. for Bill Engvall. Wow! At, so, at the Sands Hotel? The, the, uh, uh, the event center, so I guess that's attached to the casino. So Good for That's you. another big deal. It's the lunch truck next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 So, How old is Don Rickles, by the way? He's, he's 90, uh, isn't he? No, yeah, he's up, he's up there. I think he's like 91. Yeah. Still got all his marbles. Yeah. Yeah. Still got all his marbles. You can tell he's a step, so he has to sit on stage. Yeah. But if you go on YouTube... But he'll just, like, 
blurt things out. Yeah. Like, oh my God. I think it was brilliant. You watch him on The Tonight Show, yeah. or you go on YouTube. You watch the Dean Martin roast. I know it's dated. It's great, though. But it's then classic. you didn't have to utter one curse word, and yeah. you're in tears laughing yeah. so hard. Even because it's all subliminal. It's like watching the Flintstones. And nobody cared. They made fun of Blacks on there. They used to make fun of Nipsey Russell yeah. and Rwanda Page, and Don was Jewish, and they Frank Sinatra. Yeah. They made fun of Dean all Martin because he always drank. Yeah. You know? But they didn't care, and it was fun. It was all in good fun. Now you got to write, you know, like with Gilbert Goffrey, what he said about what, with the Aflac. He got in trouble for that. Come on, why are you not? Life's too short. Go to, you know what? Guys, please, stop with the reality TV. Go out and see live entertainment, whether it be comedy, yeah. music, or anything else. Seriously, that's what we need to do, is get back to the fundamentals. Yeah, it's true. Do you have a website where you want people to find you at? Uh, right, my website is under maintenance. It's uh, normally carlobelario.com, but check me out on Facebook and on Twitter. I also just opened up two comedy clubs in New Jersey. Where? Uh, one is in Bayville, which is near the Jersey Shore. Good for you. And one is in Nutley, which is in North Jersey. It's called the Nutley. Animal House Comedy Club. Big Italian town. Lovely. Yeah. Big Italian. Slightly Italian. I guess. Slightly. 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 Just Slightly. 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 Exactly. But uh, it's called Animal House Comedy Club, and that's the website, Animal House Comedy Club. Good for so, you. But I'd love this show, and I'd love to come back as to who in the future. Oh, would you please? I would love that. Oh, to. we would love that. Absolutely. Now, would you eat chocolate or no? Is that a yodel? It looks like a yodel to me. Yeah, I'll take a yodel. All no, right. that's a Swiss roll. That's not a yodel. I don't care. Stop it. Is that a nutty boy? It's a booty one, right? It is a, a nutty You can have it. We it's, all all it's all about the shape. I see the bananas, the yodels. Yeah, yeah. but you can have a yodel too because yeah. everybody's like being so politically see, correct. You put it all in the the same time. So, once. Yeah, exactly. So, can we get a skeleton from your closet? I think you kind of shared one, but. Oh, no. Uh, for many years, and every once in a while, I have a relapse, and I, I know I'm going to be chastised for this. I suffer from compulsive shoplifting. Oh, join, uh, okay. That's like, I'll go into a wild one, won't think nothing about taking a snap and going, whew. Yeah, right I shot that works. Hurt. But I think that's Aren't all you related. you want to say to Beverly Hills, Billy? Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I Watch think it's nose. related, though, <laughs> yeah. to the same personality type. I'm but. trying to think if there's a reason why. Because I remember doing it as a kid in the yeah. drugstore, stealing baseball cards. Big top, toy stores. And I don't know if it's because of the eating or if it's like I a, think it's all related. It's an unhappiness that gene that I'm living the dream, I'm doing what I love. And you still want that Snapple. Exactly. That's it. Where's the psycho on our list? I love that. Oh, that's the psycho on our list. Yeah, right? Exactly. Every I haven't eaten the store. I'm going to two vaginas a week. I can't. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, will you push a button? Absolutely. Oh, it's a cell. There, there you go. go. That's Keller's career summed up in one way. Give it up for Carlo. Thank you very much. Oh, you must be an angel. Yeah. Watch him over me. Cause I'd be gone, so gone, so gone. It's plain to see. And then it happened.